sure why it was our first gig. I think it was booked through MySpace. That mm. that is how much of a period mm. piece it is. But I remember being it. Pretty, it was pretty thrilling. I remember it, it was kind of felt like a a release, as it were. Oh, totally, because we were in you know just rehearsing in the basement of our house for you know a long time. So it was good to get things off our chest. But I remember um, telling everyone because I worked at. Uh, I worked at Topshop at the time, and I told everyone, oh, you know, for weeks, like, oh, we've got this gig, we've got this gig, come down. They're like, yeah, sure, we'll be there. And when, I, <laughs> when I got there, I walked in, I was just like, oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. I remember our first show very well. Yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, I remember the room being excruciatingly empty. And, um, yeah, and I was going, the thing is, like, you, you practice and practice and practice, and you think, you're the, you think you're the shit, you know what I mean? You think you're the best band in the world. And you put it on stage, and it's like, Ooh, we've got a bit of a way to go yet, you know what I mean? I mean, I still, you know, you still carry that around, that sense of like, we're the best, but like, you, you know, you also have to know it's not quite true. <laughs> Scott, who's our tour manager and our sound guy now, he did that show as well, um, completely by chance. And when I went to do the uh, soundtrack for The Voice, he was, think he said to me afterwards, like he was thinking, when's this guy going to start singing properly? Yeah. And we got paid ten pounds, and I had a debate with Scott at the time about that and you know I think we we're all a bit kind of ballsy and a bit kind of probably up ourselves at the time just like handed a ten pound note. <laughs> are you much. serious? So but no I, you know I, I remember very strongly I, I can still remember some lyrics from the songs with the other bands I remember um was it was Anna who plays in Metronomy was she there? She was but she, she left, left she, we she, she left before we played I think her then boyfriend <laughs> might have been on first um yeah and there was, yeah, there's a, a band called Tramps Corner who were headlining and I think they, we were on just before them and they came on stage and their, their first song was called uh, Waiting For Us and they said this one's called Waiting For Us because let's face it, you have. Suddenly after that, like, it was pretty quick that we uh, played another gig and um, Ed, like, who became our manager, he was there and it's sort of like, that's where it all started for us really because he put a single out, Domino got we're wind of it and the pieces do start to come together when you look at the gig like Scott mm. like I say who's kind of really part of the family now and um, does our sound and has you know, been involved in our entire kind of history as it were now you know it's strange that he was the guy who was doing mm. the sound that night and there's a few kind of strange occurrences that you think although I didn't feel it at the time that it was the start of something 